Okay, for the second problem, we're doing uh, another straight conversion from one set of units to a similar set of units, so density to density. Um, we're going from grams per cubic centimeter to kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, so the two conversion factors that you need are up there at the top of the page. The one kilogram equals a thousand grams and one meter equals uh, 100 centimeters. Uh, both of them you should know by now. You should know your metric to metric conversions. So um, the density in kilograms per meters cubed, how do you calculate it? Well, you just get the density of aluminum that the problem gave you, 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. And then you uh, take the grams and convert it to kilograms, because that's the eventual mass unit you want. So um, use that first conversion factor, putting the grams at the bottom, kilograms at top, those cancel. So now you're in units of kilograms per cubic centimeter. So remember that the um, conversion factor is one meter equals 100 centimeters. So um, we got to remember to cube the whole uh, conversion factor, not just the centimeters and meters. So oftentimes we forget our um, undergraduate students forget to uh, cube the hundred, uh, the number 100. So um, I like to show you that for the first time to just do it three times like that so you can say, see it that you're actually using that conversion factor three times. So you're canceling out centimeters, centimeters, and centimeters again. And then if you multiply meters times meters times meters in the bottom you get meters squared. So that will give you your units of kilograms per meter squared. Um, so when you multiply all that out you get 2.7 times 10 cubed or 10 to the third kilograms per meters cubed. So in order to do it the, the quicker way, so you don't have to, um, you know, write all those centimeters per meters um, conversion factors, you can just, like I said, cube the entire conversion factor, 100 centimeters over one meter, and then cube that whole thing. And as you see, you get the same answer. So remember your sig figs, two sig figs in the answer if the, the given numbers had two sig figs, which they did, 2.7. Okay, hopefully this helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions.